Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of KNMRD Radio Stuff. Today, I want to show you the Rig Expert Zoom 1500 antenna analyzer. Stay tuned. So first off, I got to say thank you to my friends at Gigaparts for loaning me this analyzer so we can check it out. And there will be a 5% uh, off link in the description. So if you want to buy one of these, you want to save a couple bucks, use the link in the description. Save money. So guys, this is a very powerful antenna analyzer. It's not only designed for just checking SWR, but for checking feed line loss, coax lengths. You can tune your antenna for resonance. Like if you have like a Wolf River coils or something, you slide the coil up and down real quick. You, you see in real time what's going on. It will measure the length of the coax. It will find a fault or a short in the coax. It will find the velocity factor. It'll measure capacitance or inductance of reactive loads. It's got an SWR graph. It's got Smith charts. It's got so many functions that are way above my head. <laughs> but if you're looking for a very high-end professional antenna analyzer, and it doesn't necessarily have to be the 1500, uh, any of the rig expert uh, antenna analyzers are gonna do a lot of these same functions. The only difference is you're gonna get more frequency range. The 1500 goes up to, it goes from like 500 Hertz to 1.5 gigahertz. So very, very broad spectrum range. So without any further ado, let's dive right in. I'm gonna apologize right now because there's a little bit of audio issue in the next clip, but it gets better, I promise. So, so let's take a look at what's in the box. We'll hook it up to an antenna, a multi-banded antenna, and we're gonna see some cool functions. All right, cracking her open. A nice manual that just tells you everything you need to know about the analyzer and uh, pretty simple, straightforward directions. Here we have the analyzer itself, comes in a nice bag for uh, protection, and they also just pack it in another little Ziploc bag there. We've got a lanyard, so you can like wear it while you're out and about. This is the adapter cable, it, it has uh, an end connector on it. So they give you a little end to uh, SO239 adapter, which is nice. Comes with rechargeable batteries and a battery charger. That is amazing. And uh, it's got a little UK uh, or European style thing. So they give you a little adapter for us, uh, for us regular folk. <laughs> Here's a quick look at the charger there. And some instructions for the chargers. And then you have a uh, USB cable to plug this into your computer if you so desire. All right, let's take a look at what we've got here. So right by turning it on, we're just presented with this very easy main menu. So we've got Smith charts, SWR charts, RX charts, SWR meter, all parameters, setup, calibrate, more stuff. Uh, Multi SWR, that's a cool one. Tools, more stuff than you can shake a stick at. Like I said, very easy to use. All of these number buttons have really three different functions that you can use. Obviously, if you wanna just type in a frequency, you're gonna use the numbers to type in a frequency, uh, but they also add quick access to a lot of other uh, things. So for example, if you wanna just quickly go to multi SWR, you'd hold in this function button, this F button, and seven where it says multi, and then you can just automatically scan multiple frequencies at the same time. I mean, that's real time. That's what my antenna is doing right now on all the bands that I have this resonant uh, on. And this is just really cool, especially when you're trying to tune a multi-band antenna like uh, the DX Commander that this is hooked up with. Knowing all of these at once just makes life so awesome. Let's say we want to take a look at a Smith chart. We can just simply highlight Smith chart and then we hit the OK button. And let's say we wanna pick a frequency. Let's say we wanna look at 20 meters. So button three is the frequency range. Now we can just manually type in uh, 0014, let's say 175 for the middle of the band. And we can tell it how wide we wanna scan above or below this frequency. So let's say I wanna do 300 kilohertz above and below. We can do that, hit okay. Hit okay again to scan. And now you see uh, our Smith chart there. You can also hit the uh, three button again. If you hold down function over here, you can just quickly pick 
a band. So let's just say we want 10 meters, okay? Hit enter and then resweep it. There's our Smith chart for 10 meters. You can also use the left or right arrow. There's a little red indicator there that you'll see move. And here you can see the frequency moving. And as you go up and down, you can see where you're at on the chart. So it's, it's kind of interactive like that. Now, if I want to just look at an SWR graph, we'll go to SWR chart. And again, we can use this function button and go there just the same. So there's many ways to get around and navigate this thing. So let's hit OK. I want to do the frequency range. Uh, let's say I'm going to hold down function. Let's say I want to look at uh, 20 meters again. Sure, why not? But let's say I want to go 300 kilohertz either side. Hit OK. We can sweep it. Now we can see our SWR chart. Cool thing about this though, being that it's the zoom, you can hit the up or down buttons and it'll actually zoom in on the graph there or zoom out, which can be helpful if you really want to dial in where your antenna is resonant at. So right now at 14.079, it's 1.08 SWR. And up here in little uh, numbers, as you move this, you can see the SWR changing so you know where it's at at all times. What if you want to scan all the bands? Well, you can do that too. I'm going to select SWR chart, hit OK, go to our frequency range, hold down function, and then we can go scan down to where it says all, hit OK, and scan. So we can see at a glance, all these blue lines are where the amateur bands are. Let's scan that again. So here we can see this is all, so here's like 40 meters right here. Let's go over there and you can just zoom in on this. You see all your different data plots at once, which is really cool. So there's the whole antenna basically. Zoom out one more. You can see all the nice little SWR dips. So whole antenna all in one screen. That's pretty sweet. And look at how crazy fast that is. It just sweeps the entire spectrum just like that in a couple seconds. I have this zoomed in. You can see that's going up to 2.0. Uh, but if you hold in function and hit the up arrow, now that's where like 10 to 1 SWR is. So let's sweep that again. It actually looks a little better that way in this view. So you can see everything. I mean, it's just, everything's there. It's awesome. Now, while looking at these nice pretty lines are cool, you can also dive deeper into what your antenna is actually doing. So if we hit the zero button, which also says data, that's gonna show us everything that's going on with the antenna. So we can see at 14.175, I'm 1.14, 53 ohms of impedance. We can see our reactance, our resistance, our inductance, capacitance, everything that your antenna is doing. More stuff than I even know what means. <laughs> I mean, this is a really professional bit of kit. Next down the list is our RX chart. I'm not 100% familiar with what this is, but you engineers out there can probably help me out. But you basically are showing reactance and capacitive capacitance maybe i'm not sure but it does that whatever that means we've also got just a simple swr meter so we can see just a just a nice little meter 14175 if we want to go up just hit our right or left arrows and we can just quickly uh sweep the band there so that's pretty nice menu 8 is the same thing as when we go down to data here but let's hit it anyway so it's just in real time what your antenna is doing. Same thing as if we were to just sweep uh, and then hit the data, you'll see that there. But if you want to just go straight to it, it is there. Here's the setup menu where you can change colors, language, battery, sound, all this, all this stuff here. Uh, you can change it from metric to imperial. Bands, I had to change this. This was set for uh, Europe, so when you get it, and everything is different. <laughs> it 
go into setup and change it to the Americas if you're in America, I suppose. You can change your cable velocity factor, all kinds of stuff. It has Bluetooth, which I'm gonna show you in a minute. You can calibrate it if for some reason you need to. You don't really need to, but you can open short and load it, I guess. Uh, RL chart, you can take a look at that. TDR chart. So there you are. That's what TDR mode does. Time domain reflectometer. No clue what uh, all that is supposed to tell me, but again, not an electrical engineer, but if you are, you'll know what that means. This multi SWR, I'm gonna go back in here and show you, because this is just cool. So let's select that, hit okay. Now here we can see all the different uh, bands that I've typed in here. And again, all we do is just hit frequency range. And let's say I want that at uh, 7,100, whatever and it just changes it so we can go down here and let's say I want to see where this is at uh, 14250 whatever and you just keep going down the list and then you hit OK and there you are live real-time views of what all of your multiband antenna is doing so that's pretty awesome this analyzer will also do more things other than just look at your antenna it's also good for uh, you can use it as a stub tuner it'll find the length and velocity factor of your coaxial cable. It can find the, uh, the impedance of the cable. It can check your cable loss. Uh, so I'm gonna show you in, in this tools menu here, let's click okay. So here's stub tuner, lengthened uh, velocity factor, cable loss, cable impedance, self tests. But I'll just do this length and velocity factor because I'm often finding I wanna know what lengths of coax I have. So we're gonna click on this you need to know the velocity factor. Well, you don't really need to know it because if you know the length of the coax, you can type the length in. Um, now, this is in meters. You can change it to standard if you want. But So the velocity factor of the coax that I'm using is 0.66. I need to just hit OK. This is connected to the antenna. 35 meters, which is about 115 feet, which is what I cut this coax for. I actually thought I cut it 120 feet, but I'm going to trust this more. Very, very simple. You don't have to open, load, short, all that stuff. You just push the button. That is a very useful feature. And just for giggles, I just plugged in this short length of RG213 just to show you don't need anything plugged in or nothing. It just measures it and it's 0.72 meters, which is about uh, the length of this. So very accurate. Another thing I want to show you really quick, if you're planning on setting up an antenna, you want to make sure you're using good cable. We can check this cable loss so you can see what frequencies it's good for. I'm just going to click on cable loss. Now we need to connect an open circuit. So I'm going to go unplug the coax from the antenna right now. Now that it's unplugged, we're going to just go ahead and run this test. Collect some data real quick. Now I'm going to go short the end of the coax. Now we'll run it again, and there we have it. Now, one thing about this, I haven't figured out, you can like zoom in on it, you can zoom out, but you can't really zoom in any more than this. So here's the frequency here. Let's scroll all the way to the left. I'll just go to zero here. And you can see it jumps right to 20 meters, basically, not even 14.8 megahertz, but uh, 1.7 dB there, there's roughly 10 meters, so 2.6 dB a loss. Uh, there's kind of 6 meters-ish, so between 3.3 and 4 dB a loss. As you get up to, so say like here's the 2 meter band. This is RG58U coax that I'm using right now, so this would be absolutely terrible for uh, 2 meters and uh, 70 centimeters, let's see, where's that at? I mean, it's just getting terrible up here, but you know, 430, we're 21 dB, 445, 22 dB a loss. So yeah, that's a good way to see what frequencies you should actually be using your coax on. Now, this is a really cool part of this rig expert because this has Bluetooth, they have an app. It's this right here called AntScope. If we open this up, it's gonna find our device. 
there we have the AA1500 zoom. We're just going to hit connect. And let's go into OSWR chart. We can go to settings. And I've already got this set up for uh, 20 meters. And we can change the points. That's basically how many different times it pings the antenna at different frequencies. So I'm just going to leave it on 100. You can put it on 200 or whatever. It just takes longer to scan and uh, hit done. And then we can hit start. And it is scanning the antenna right now. And now we can see we've got this nice bar that we can move around and we can see what the antenna is doing on our app. That's awesome. You want to look at a Smith chart? Let's look at a Smith chart. There you go. And that is sweet. And then we can see where the marker is at, what the antenna is doing at different points down the band. That is just too cool for school. I don't care. There's all parameters. Way too cool. I love this. So that's it, gang. Just wanted to show you a quick look and overview and uh, demonstration of the rig expert. All of the rig experts, to my understanding, are pretty much going to function very similarly to this. The zoom ones obviously have that zoom in capability where you can embiggen the, uh, the zoom on the display there. Yeah, just a, what a fantastic bit of kit. I can't even show you all the stuff it does because honestly, a lot of the stuff it does is right over my head. But if you are really looking for a nice professional grade antenna analyzer that does uh, just about anything you could ever possibly imagine, check out the Rig Expert. These things are awesome. Like I said before, I will leave a link in the description for a 5% discount on any of the Rig Expert products through Gigaparts. And uh, again, thank you Gigaparts for loaning this to me. It's got to go back in the mail, but uh, that's fine. I, uh, I definitely see myself picking up one of these uh, in the future. This is just, I, I've seen guys in the field using it field day and stuff. I've never really played around with one. Man, after having this though, it's like, it's just so nice. And the screen out in the sun, it just works. You can read. I've had not had any problems reading the screen and I haven't even taken the plastic off because it's going back to Gigaparts. So uh, if you got any other questions, <laughs> leave them in the comments. I'll try and answer them. And uh, yeah, as always, thanks so much for watching another episode of K&MRD Radio Stuff 73, guys.